Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rasta, the guy with the eye here. I just really wanted to run down everything that happened day one, and I guess since that's January 5th, a little bit of the start of day two of CES 2017, the consumer electronics show that happens in Las Vegas every single year. This is where you see things from the newest kind of the newest cameras and everything like that a lot more consumer based not like high-end professional for the most part but tvs cars and all that kind of stuff stuff like that so that's what you see but obviously be it i covered the tech of photography day one is usually when you'll get most of the stuff because that's when the attention comes out and so far this might be everything that is coming out there really was no huge announcements from any of the big brands except panasonic which is pretty obvious i'll cover that in a second um, and we're really, we're really just going to dive into it and just see what everything was, quick run through, and just to get you up to date on what's going on. The first updates made of the day was from Canon, and that was their Canon G9X Mark II. And the thing is, it's it's uh, so it's up to date. They changed a couple things, but it's still using a very slow lens, a 2.8 to a f4 lens, a 4.9 lens, all depending on when you zoom out. And there's really nothing different about it. So you're seeing it right here. And it's going to cost like 530 bucks, and they're really there's just not much into it. No 4K video or anything like that. It just is what it is of what it is. No flip screen or anything like that, which people need in this market, and that's what they're buying these cameras for. So that's number one. This is now out 530 bucks, and you can go pick that out if you want. These are in no specific order, but the only reason I bring this up, Nikon announced new A300 and W100 is because um, a lot of the stuff is hit in the US and I just thought that this one was pretty cool. This was actually announced last year and I don't know. Even if the, I would just want one to want one because it looks freaking goofy. But if you're into this type of stuff and waterproof all that kind of stuff, that's up to you. The biggest thing obviously was the Panasonic GH5, which I made an entire preview video about. They have been holding on to information for the past couple months when it was kind of like pre-announced for Photo Kiana, but there was no actual model and there was no information given. Now there's everything you need to know about that. I'll link my preview video down below, but I'm pretty sure you've already heard that, uh, you know, to nauseum. The other interesting thing that they did was release and announce the GX850. Now, I know the market they're trying to hit. I just don't know if they're going to be able to actually do anything with it compared to what's running out there. And so far right now, what is it running? It's running about 550 bucks when you can when you can actually buy it. And it's this interesting design. You can get the selfie screen, which would be great. And they are offering 4K in this. So that's pretty promising. And I'm very interested to check it out. It looks it looks interesting. It looks kind of cool. They they try to minimalize everything that was going on so there you go i don't know just something interesting to look into and what they're also doing is they're putting in the 4k photo mode a little bit of what they put into that um panasonic gh5 and a quick thing that fujifilm unveiled was that their graphite color for their x pro 2 and their xt2 which does look pretty damn sexy in my opinion and if i was going to get something like this i would obviously alternatively do so as you see right here the x pro 2 is going to go for 2300 dollars, and the xt2 will go for 1800 dollars and ship later this month nikon d5600 is coming to the us that's the biggest announce that they did of the day now the other interesting part and was that yi now if you're familiar with yi um, you know that they make a lot of the cheap like GoPro knockoffs that are actually pretty darn good for what they are. And I can't get the picture to load, but essentially they, they created a 4K drone of this year. And that's essentially something you're going to see coming up. And the other thing is they made a, a carbon fiber action camera. And the big thing was them shooting 4K video at 60 frames per second. And I don't think that is interpolated. Um, blah, 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 no. And they're saying it's uh, about 200 bucks. So... For something like that, that is not that bad. And it's also double what the GoPro Hero 5 does. And the gap is just closing heavily on stuff like this. And um, I, I'm going to add in another thing after this. But something that just came out today, January 5th, was the Polaroid Pop. And it's essentially a 3x4 instant digital printer of what you can do, you know, with things. And, you know, there's small pictures. There's small little Polaroids that you can print. Polaroid's still really trying to get into the instant game. I'm gonna pull up one more thing and it's from Moo about business cards. So here it is right here. I saw this on the Fablographer and it's it's Moo, you know, they create business cards and everything like that and other stuff, but they created near field communication business cards, which is very interesting, you know, and if you're not familiar with that near field communication, 
Um, you can see it a lot with maybe some printers or some of the Canon cameras and everything. It, it's essentially when you get close to something smart and it can translate information across. So they are using NFC within business cards. And I guess that way you can carry one or maybe several around. And instead of handing them out or giving it to them and someone can lose them, you, you can get them scanned by the NFC in someone's smartphone and it's easier to keep. Um, I don't know. I'd be very into, interested to check it out. But if you want to read more about this, uh, check out this link down in the description below. I It's an interesting way of the future. But all in all, that is really all that has kind of happened so far in CES 2017 in the photography videography market. I don't know how much more will be done. If there's something more unique, I'll update with like a day two video by the end of today, January 5th or early uh, January 6th. What was interesting so far for you from this entire thing so far? Was it the Panasonic GH5? Was it some kind of selfie camera? Or do you like the little Polaroid little pop thingy mabobber? Let me know down in the comments below. Or what do you really want to see? Now, mind you, I think Nikon and Canon will do some bigger things in the next month or two as they need to really step up their game to please the market.